South Carolina sheriff's candidate wants you to know that he too wore blackface. He's just, uh, he's trying to get ahead of things for an expose or anything like that. Just uh, watch, let him explain. Okay. Right. About 10 years ago, as a young police officer, I attended a law enforcement Halloween party dressed as ruthless drug kingpin, Big Meech Flannery. I did it to disparage a criminal whose actions hurt our community and country. That was a different time. Today, we understand that type of costume is troubling to many. To those who may be upset, I understand your disappointment, but I value honesty, so I'm opening my campaign with transparency. That's why you can always count on me to tell you the truth. That's the cornerstone of trust. I love that. At least he kept it real because everybody else in the video was white. So we he held the baby, because if that would have been a black baby, I would have left. <laughs> 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 the, uh, it's, it looked like a scene from Waterboy. I ain't, I'm not even messing with it. The whole thing was ridiculous. And then he wasn't even like fully honest. It was like, I did it because drug dealers are bad and I wanted to make, but no, you're, you were racist, honestly. And you not copping to it today in your apology makes me think you may still be. Like, so, the, like, come on. So, uh, I, I think there's a little bit of nuance here. But I, first, I'd like to join you guys in making fun of him. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> so, number one, um, that was 10 years ago. I'm like, you made it sound like it was like 50 years ago, yeah. right? That's 10 years ago. It wasn't that long. And you it's were like, an officer. You were a law enforcement yeah. officer doing that. So, uh, the woman next to him. Uh, is a friend of his and they've been friends apparently since sixth grade. I hope to God he asked her before he ran the ad, right? Yeah. Don't, don't throw her under the bus if you didn't ask her. Um, so he goes on in the ad to admit other things. So my slight nuance is, is twofold. One is, well, I like a politician just randomly coming out and saying all the things they've done wrong, right? Um, and so I like any kind of honesty. And so this is kind of an interesting way to start. Start your campaign. It's not. Although it could verge on Christine O'Donnell. I don't know if you guys remember in Delaware, she's a Republican candidate. She came out and ran an ad that said, I am not a witch. Oh, yes. Okay, well, I wouldn't start an ad that way if you're running for a Senate seat, etc. And this is pretty similar to it by saying, I am not a racist, even though here's me in blackface. Which then led me to question. Is he doing it for transparency or is he doing it to mm. get white voters? And he it's for white voters. And then he's like, <laughs> I'm in blackface um, next to a black woman. So she co signed. That this. is the visual. That, I got a black friend. That's the. But yeah. you know what's funny? Big Meech got arrested in early 2000s, right? Because it was like 2004, 2005. And this was 10 years ago. So that was four years later. It wasn't like fresh. You know what I mean? It wasn't hmm. like this, this. He was in Detroit. And Atlanta. So, how did it affect his community? Where is he? Is he in Atlanta? No, he's in South Carolina. Come on, man. Let me tell you something. That they, they right. gotta stop. People gotta stop acting like the rest of us don't have access to the World Wide Web. You know, like we can't just. You know what I mean? They just tell they tell us things in transparency, but they act like we can't Google stuff. And it's like. It, Big, you could just you can Google when did Big Meech get arrested now, and where was Big Meech from, and which community? He didn't disrupt your community. You read about it in the news, like the rest of us. And you know, what is the point of disparaging a man who is in federal prison for probably like really close to the rest of his life and cannot see your personal private costume party? Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. I so I hadn't thought of what I just said. I, I should have Googled it, <laughs> but. Uh, like you're right. Now that you give it that context, for because he framed the ad that way, I have to confess I made a mistake. I thought he was from that area, mm -hmm. uh, and he's not. So then, then all of a sudden, that's like, well, in honor of Tupac being killed, <laughs> like what? Yeah, like, <laughs> right. Wait, that doesn't have anything to do with this. Yeah. Uh, so now, look, I, I I have said this on uh, before, and I'll say it again here. I think a lot of people in this country don't know why blackface is so bad. And so they don't know the history of the minstrel shows. They don't know Birth of a Nation. They don't know that that is why African, it was done by white people to make fun of African Americans. And then it would often lead to severe consequences. Making fun of African Americans when they had no power to begin with was already despicable enough, but then it would be used as justification in Birth of a Nation, the first major motion picture. It's a white guy in a black face going around kidnapping white women and raping them. And that led to lynchings. 
So that is why it is so offensive. Number one, I want to say that in every story so that people actually know, because a lot of right wingers in this country, they don't know that. And they're always like, what's the big deal? Yeah. Yeah. What's the big deal? But none of these people right. think that they are paying homage to a black person. No. They all know at the very no. least that they are making fun of a black person. I mean, and intent does not negate impact. And your racist actions and your ignorance of them does not mitigate the damage that you cause. Everybody has to be responsible for their own actions and their own part in perpetuating white supremacy. Tell it, baby girl. And you know I can call her baby girl because she's my baby girl. So don't even hit me with them dumb comments. Yes. Let me tell you something. I I, I love her. No, no, because then they'll come. Well, why are you calling her? She's a girl. She's my baby girl. So calm it down. That's exactly right. And imagine if black people, if some black people walked around letting their hair get matted, walking around with dirty with dirty feet and no shoes on, and and perpetuated the horrible stereotypes that people have about white people and white women. You, there would be outrage yeah. if they said, "I'm going to go around, you know, I'm just going to go around not following the rules and doing everything I want to do, and then cry victim." Oh, this is whiteface. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I, it's it's just nobody who does blackface thinks that they are doing a service to black people. And even if you are making fun, look, what Big Meech and those people did was wrong. Distributing drugs, specifically the way they affect black and brown communities. Wrong. Yeah. The sentence for that was the rest of your life in prison. Not a bunch of white people getting around to go around portraying you, knowing the people around him don't even know who Big Meech is. All you're doing is making fun of a black man. And that further, further services the dehumanization of black people in this country, which often can lead to their danger and death. And that's not okay. And listen, go get some therapy for that impediment, because I don't trust nobody who talked like that. And I say this all the time. I think like black people have to know, and, and women too, in, in, in a separate, and in, in, obviously I'm black and a woman, but like there are things that you have to know from a very small age before going out in this world and interacting with other people. Even to this day, you know, you have to make sure that, you know, you don't seem intimidating mm -hmm. to scare a white person. You can't make a white person think that you're going to attack them. Young black men have to make sure that they don't get into an elevator with an old white lady just in case, that their hands aren't in their pockets when they're walking through a store, that they're buying something when they go in, that you don't look suspicious, that you don't look scary, that you don't be that you're not perceived as angry or have an attitude. And we have to learn those things from a very women. Have to learn how to protect yourself physically mm -hmm. and how to not antagonize a man yeah. or a grown man when you're a child. Like there are things that children, I know from experience, have the capability of learning. Yeah. To protect other people around them. So I do not care if you weren't educated as a grown man. I don't care. And this goes for everybody in this country who claims they did not know blackface was a problem. I don't care. And when you center yourself and your own ignorance and your own pain, when somebody calls you out on harm that you cause, that makes it even worse. So if I made fun of the speech impediment and you guys are gonna come, now you understand yep. what we're talking about, right? So I said it on purpose, right? So if I, if somebody were, were to be like, look, this old dumb hick from the South, he's a speech impediment, he looks like a blah, blah, blah. That is wrongfully characterizing somebody based on where they're from, how they talk, blah, 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 and so on and so forth. That is the, what blackface means to black people, but add danger to it. Yep. Yeah, so last thing, guys. Uh, look, we have a variety of opinions here on different things, but I, I want to focus on what uh, Brooke just said because I want you to, to, to kind of soak it in. So, look, I, I'm not as positive that every person who's ever done blackface had bad intent. But, but let, hear out what Brooke just said. Then mm -hmm. let's have the same standard for everybody because. When mm -hmm. an African American guy goes into a store, he has no bad intent at all, and yet he is judged for different things that he did not intend at all. And but a lot of folks will say, "Well, he shouldn't have dressed that way. Mm -hmm. He shouldn't have said that. He shouldn't mm -hmm. have done this. He shouldn't have had that demeanor." At that point, you're not worried about his intent. So then you don't get to turn around and say, "But he didn't have bad intent." Mm -hmm. So all I'm asking for is that we have the same standard for everybody, and right now that does not exist. Mm -hmm. So for the powerless. It's I don't give a damn about his intent. He he shouldn't have done this, this or this. So the same rules should be applied to everyone. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. 
you'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.